Bom dia! I think that's how you say good morning in Portuguese. I am in Lisbon. Yesterday I got to Lisbon and it was actually my first time taking an Uber in my year and a half, two years of solo travel, never taking an Uber. Always just walked or done public transport. But I took an Uber because it was like a three hour walk from where I got dropped off at the bus station to my hostel. Um, my hostel seems pretty nice, it seems very social. Um, I am definitely going to work to push myself outside of my comfort zone. Um, they have free breakfast, which was great. And then they also do like free shots every night. They have a pub crawl, they have nightly events. So I am going to do more of it. So I did go to the breakfast because it's free breakfast. But again, I told you sometimes there's free things to take me nervous. I went to the free breakfast um, and I plan to go to at least one of the shots maybe the pub crawl. I've talked about this before, but sometimes when you stay in hostels, you realize like people were raised very differently than you and just had no fucking awareness. Um, and I'm saying this as like someone that's autistic that I feel like sometimes I have no awareness. But this guy, it was like 11 o'clock at night and he was watching TikToks on full volume in the room. And I just think that was so fucking rude. I think it's beyond crazy when people watch shit on their phone at full volume in public. I genuinely think it's fucking absurd. Um, and especially when the lights are off and then he like turned the lights on to get dressed and I'm like, dude, use your phone flashlight. Use your, like the, like the lamp thing that they actually provide in your bed. There are so many options you can do besides turning on the overhead light. And I'm like so anti overhead light because I hate them. Um, but like, I don't know, it's just fucking weird. Anyways, it's kind of cold. Um, I'm glad I packed this and just like brought it out with me today because I wasn't going to. Um, and maybe wish I would have worn something else, but I didn't. So this is what we're going with. Um, I'm gonna walk to the Alfama neighborhood. I heard it's like one of the most popular neighborhoods to go check out. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and we'll see where the day takes me. I just randomly stumbled across this like little market. So I'm just gonna walk up and down it even though it's in the wrong direction. If you know anything about me, you know I'm an absolute sucker for like jewelry stores. So I didn't buy anything. I'm trying to be more conscious of my spending, but it is definitely difficult. Yeah. We were in high school. We had like an eight hour layover in Lisbon. So like I technically have been to Lisbon before, um, but it's funny, um, typical American thing that you can laugh at. Um, our high school principal like tried to order at a cafe in Spanish. And when they like didn't like respond or like know what he was saying, he was just like, I don't get it. Like I tried speaking Spanish and I'm like, yeah, because we're in fucking Portugal and they speak Portuguese. We're going to Spain after this and then you can use your shit Spanish, but like I hated that man, so him doing stupid shit like that was just like not surprising. The city is beautiful. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing, but every time I like turn the corner, I can take a picture of something and I love taking photos. Um, it's so fun. It's so beautiful here. I love just getting lost in the streets. It's 
It's incredible. I love it. It's beautiful. I was about to say good morning because it low-key feels like morning. It's 6.30 at night. Um, it's summer solstice, so it's the longest day of the year. And I am finally going to watch the sunset tonight, um, for sure. At one of the lookout points, I brought my journal to journal. I did go back to the hostel and take like an hour nap because my phone died and I was exhausted. Um, so now we have a charged phone and I'm walking to the Pink Street. Um, so I'm going to see that. And then we'll see how I'm feeling for the rest of the night. Not that this is like new information for me, but like a lot of socializing revolves around drinking. And drinking doesn't make me feel the best. And I hate that I feel like I have to drink to make friends. And then I wonder like, are those the people I want to be socializing with? Or are the people that are at hostels drinking? Like to each their own, but it's not necessarily exactly what I want out of my travel experience, so we'll see what I'm feeling. That was beautiful. Um, there was like a little party thing going on, which was fun. Um, cute little kid dancing on his dad's shoulders. It was adorable. Um, I'm gonna walk back to the hostel and I think I'm gonna go to bed, um, get a good night's sleep. Uh, I walked like 10 miles today, so I'm pretty tired. There's a little black cat down there. Part of me wants to stop doing these vlogs just because I feel like they're pointless and no one watches them and no one gives a fuck and I'm just throwing myself a little pity party um, but I also like them for like creative purposes and memory purposes and just documenting my life and um, I feel like for me when I solo travel there is a bit of guilt because it looks a bit different than other people's solo travel experiences but I'm so proud of myself like just being here and staying in hostels that's more than a lot of people can say you know like even if I'm struggling with like making friends like I struggle with making friends anyways um so it's fine but my goal I think tomorrow I'm meeting up with my friends so I don't know how long we'll hang out but depending on how long we hang out, I try, I'm gonna go to a gay bar by myself. Um, I try and wanna meet people in person versus on like apps. I don't know, dating apps stress me out and I just don't like them. And like one of my best friends like literally met her wife or her future wife on a dating app. So like I know it works, it works for them, but like, I, I I just, I don't know, I can't, they sh I don't know, but I think I'm going to go to Pride with the Pride party with someone on a dating app, which also makes me nervous, because I'm like, how will that go? It's my first Pride, and I think I'm going to go with someone on a dating app. I'd rather meet someone in person. I want like a cute meet in nature, <laughs> out in the wild story, um, and it's not that I'm against dating apps, it's just that I feel like I'm like, not even morally against them, I just hate them just because I feel like they breed this like the grass is always greener type vibe. So.
do a talking vlog for the first part of my day, but I went to the school castle, it was great. Now I am on my way to meet my friends at the ferry station. I am nervous to see them, just because this is like the first socializing I've really done in a while. Um, but I'm also very excited to see them, they're great people. Um, I think I'm just most nervous about my lack of Spanish speaking, and I just feel bad that they have to speak their third language to me. Um, my goal is to speak as much Spanish as I can, but it's not much. <laughs> um, so I've been looking up phrases that I know I want to say. So I'm out of breath because I'm just nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Just to see people that know me, it's been a while. Um, I also very rarely see people again once I travel. It's kind of like you meet people traveling and then you never see them again. Well, now I've seen people again, so that's a new experience. Good morning, friends. Today is my first Pride. Um, I guess you could say it's Pride. I mean, technically it's not the parade. It's just the Pride party in Lisbon. Um, but it's my first time being out and just like having this experience so I'm like very excited I'm very nervous to just be in a crowd of people to be honest um, I also am going on a hinge date um, which makes me nervous <laughs> but I'm just trying to remind myself that like I'm just meant to be having fun this doesn't need to be the love of my life we're just gonna go have fun with some gay people can't complain I'm wearing a very um, on nose t-shirt I'm nervous just because I don't know what other people are gonna be wearing um, but I am backpacking. I don't have that many options, so this is this is the fit check. Um, and I did buy this shirt recently. <laughs> so. But I, I am excited. I'm nervous, but um, yeah, last night was so good with my friends, by the way. Um, I feel like my cops, I feel like my cheeks were hurting from smiling so much. And it was fine, like they talked in English most of the time. I talked in a little bit of Spanish. They talked in Spanish a bit, and then I could understand them. But my problem is, is I just don't know how to respond in Spanish. <laughs> These fucking hills, bro. But yeah, so that ended up better. And actually, they don't live in Lisbon. I thought they lived in Lisbon. They live on an island off of Lisbon. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna take a ferry to that island and see where they live. They live like on a farm and they have like baby pigs and rabbits and goats and chickens and I don't know, I think that might be kind of fun. Obviously with any place that you go, you can't see it all in a few days, um, but I feel like I have seen a bit of Lisbon. I've walked around a ton, like every day that I've been here, I've pretty much walked like 10 miles. So I think going to the island would just be cool and I get to see them again and that's exciting. So today will be the pride, tomorrow will be the island and then Monday, I have a flight to Geneva, um, and then I have a bus, train, whatever, to Lucerne, um, and I'm going to be seeing another friend, reuniting with another friend in Lucerne, and I'm going to be staying at her house. Um, she's so nice, thank God. Switzerland is so expensive, obviously that's not why I'm staying with her, but it is expensive, so to be able to save on that accommodation is it's amazing um, and so I'm hoping to do some hiking while I'm there um, what else what else what else and then we'll be in Sylvania for my one month of volunteering so stay tuned Good morning, friends. I feel like I have a trillion and one things that I need to catch you up on. Um, for starters, <laughs> my pride went differently than I thought it would. Um, it, it was fun, it was fine, um, but the girl that I had a hinge date with brought another girl on her date. And maybe it was just a friend hangout and I read the situation wrong, but when you meet on hinge, you just kind of assume it's not totally friend vibe, but it ended up being friend vibe, she's cool. And the other girl was also cool, but they did make out in front of me. 
so it was funny. Um, and then I, they were like trying to play wing woman with other girls at Pride, and I was like having go up to girls, and I am not cut out for that. And each time that I went up to a girl, um, straight, they were all straight. So of course that was my luck. Um, but whatever. I'm going to Montijo today, taking a ferry, so I'm gonna go find some food, and I'm going over there, and then I have a very early flight tomorrow morning. Like, I think I need to leave here at like five, so yeah, it'll be an early night for me, probably, hopefully. Today all was lovely. I went to Montijo and I saw my friends and honestly seeing them kind of revived a little bit of me. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I was editing my Valencia vlog and then started my Cordoba vlog and I realized like I, there's black cats down here and I want them so badly. I miss my cat. Anyways, um, I've been realizing like I've been talking a lot about my anxiety and I feel like for a viewer, that's probably not the best thing they want to be talking about. Like, that's really been my reality this trip, right? Like, when normally people talk about anxiety, it's kind of like, okay, push yourself out of your comfort zone, it gets better, exposure therapy type shit. But when you're on the spectrum, you have to, like, there's a fine line between anxiety and knowing, like, if I put myself in a situation, it's going to be a high masking situation. And is that going to lead to burnout? Is it going to lead to sh me shutting down? Is it going to be a meltdown? Like, it, there's a fine line between an anxiety that is in the way of your growth, but also, I don't know. It's like meeting those needs, but also pushing yourself. I don't know, what, it, whatever. But I feel a lot better right now. I had a great time in Lisbon. I put myself out there. I did go on a hinge date that ended up not being a date, and I went to Pride, so whatever. I wanted to do that, and I did. And I saw my friends, and that was great. And now I'm seeing another friend tomorrow, and I'll be in Switzerland for five days, which is incredible. I love Switzerland. It is definitely one of my favorite countries. Um, it's very expensive. I am going to be utilizing her kitchen. Although, even though I spent six weeks in Switzerland last year, I didn't try fondue, so I need to do that. So hopefully we can find a place. I assume we can. And honestly, I'll just splurge because how many times are you in Switzerland being able to actually try fondue? So moral of the story is I feel like I just feel a lot better about the trip. I feel like I'm working through some of the anxieties. A lot of the anxieties come from me not feeling like confident and I feel, I don't know, there a lot of childhood things come up when I travel um, and just like feeling like not, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I am, I feel so weird having a camera out, um, but we have the Switzerland and my, I'm going to get an Uber at like 5.30 in the morning probably so I can get to the airport because um, I am checking my bag, which I like never check my bag. Um, so I'm heading back to the hostel to make sure it's all packed because I am not the asshole that packs my bag at 5 a.m. Everything is cyclical. Life is cyclical and emotions come and they go. And like, even though I deal with anxiety at a pretty much everyday basis, I mean, literally an everyday basis at some degree, um, I am still doing things. I'm still having fun and I'm creating memories and I'm doing the damn thing. Um, so thank you so much for watching this Lisbon vlog. If you made it to the end, I love you. And um, I will see you in Switzerland because it's fucking Switzerland. Let's go, baby.